We just got probably the best Black Myth Wukong gameplay reveal to date. Of course, the final reveal trailer is out and it looks like we're getting way, way more forms to shapeshift into, which means lots of insanely cool abilities, lots of boss encounters and much, much more. Also, to celebrate the launch, I'm giving away a copy of the game on all available platforms. Simply make sure you're a subscriber, like the video and leave a comment down below. And if there's enough support, we're probably going to follow soon with even more giveaways ahead of launch. But starting with a mechanic overview, it looks like we can actually shapeshift into pretty much every boss out there, or at the very least a lot more than we initially thought, because the game is set to feature about 80 or so boss enemies, a possible reference to the fact that there's 81 challenges in the Journey of the West story. But with lots of forms that all seem familiar to many of the bosses we've seen in gameplay reveals. So I've counted 14 new forms just in the new gameplay, and we're gonna go over a quick breakdown in just a bit. It. Quick refresher, we already know that unlocking extra transformations is done by defeating bosses and then grabbing either their weapon or absorbing their energy in some way. For example, in the case of the Fireblade Wolf form, we can see Sun Wukong actually grabbing the Fire Staff once the boss was defeated. But in the case of the Big Head boss, we see it absorbing its energy into some kind of guard at the 2 and 22 second minute mark. So going over all forms in the trailer, starting with the 57 second mark, we can see how unlocking the Fireblade Wolf form works. We've seen quite a bit of gameplay of this before. A very agile, super fast attack form with lots of mobility, plus, of course, fire damage. We can also see the charge attack being done mid-air, so it's not just available from the ground. Then at the 1 minute and 9 second mark, we have the Rock Monster form. We've seen extensive footage of this before, using its burly body to slam into enemies, doing some AoE, but pretty much at the cost of feeling extremely, extremely slow. However, it does appear to be immune to electric damage, so there is a benefit to it. Then at the 1 minute and 14 seconds, we have the Warm Man form. At the very least, that's the translation that I've seen in some of the previous previews. And this is the first time we're actually seeing it in action. This one uses a larger claw to basically slash and inflict poisonous damage into enemies, which also leaves some really cool marks on them, but also eventually stacks up that poison damage. It's not too swiftly, it also moves a bit slow, but it does appear to perform really well. We can also see it has an AoE poison explosion at the end of the scene, and I'm not too sure if this is done on demand or if it can be triggered after inflicting enough poison buildup on those specific targets. But it does appear to provide some kind of benefit, as then we have some green bubbles feeding back into our character, maybe explaining some kind of buff. At 1 minute and 20 seconds, we have the tentacle form. This is the fourth one we see. Now, this has the benefit of providing a pair of extra back-mounted tentacles. On the light attack, they quickly throw rocks from near you towards the targets, but it also features a heavy attack, which instead grabs a larger single boulder for a much higher impact. Besides this, it also features a 360 AoE spin, covering a really good area, but they can also be used to power up jumps or even power up body slams at the end of the chain. At the 1 minute and 26 second mark, we have the two-headed rat form, which also has a dragon breath for some reason. Now, this uses a one-handed serrated curved sword in the left hand, as well as a fire breath mechanic from the, well, right head. So the fire looks like a very strong option, especially against arachnids and possibly other insectoid enemies as well. Plus, at the end, it's looking like it also comes with a fire bomb type of ability that you need to charge up momentarily. Funny enough, it looks like the fire abilities all come from the right half, while the left half is the one using melee hits. So really nice attention to detail. We also get a couple of mechanics in the middle of the trailer, so at 1.55 minutes in, we can also see what appears to be a bonfire-like checkpoint that unlocks around the same area where we fought the White Lightning Dragon in some of the previous reveals. So yeah, this could be something like a cutscene that has that boss spawning right after. 155, some kind of fox character fires up this lamp and this appears to drop a golden item, maybe some kind of upgrade, but who knows, it could be something else. Because at 
create Sun Wukong, give some kind of, well, other item to the same sword fighter we initially have that encounter with, again, from those NVIDIA reveals. So this could be something that is a tutorial area, and then this character, yeah, just helps us as the story progresses. Two minutes in, a monk also can be seen painting a gourd that looks familiar to the one that the character uses to extract the powers of the giant head boss later on, so maybe this could explain how we get that mechanic in the first place. But let's keep on going, we still have 8 more forms, so at 2 minutes 38 we can finally see our character transforming into the big head boss form. I also wanted to pay attention to how fluid the switch from normal attacks to that transformation headbutt attack actually is and there are a few more instances like these throughout the trailer this is likely how you're going to play in the full game mixing your regular attacks with the boss transformations for heavier hits and getting those benefits out of that which i really like because you can come up with some insane unique combos then 2 minutes 40 seconds the currently unnamed form using a rapid fire crossbow attack which also appeared to cause mini explosions on every hit with a final big one at the end so maybe a good way to also stun enemies the eighth form is at two minutes 42 seconds we see what i like to call the red robe red blade dancer it's basically just that a highly acrobatic red form with some interesting dodges baked into its moveset so it has this fade attack which makes the character to just disappear momentarily and then reappear like one or two meters ahead when performing that really cool dodge attack. Then 2 minutes 46, the number 9th transformation, some kind of form wielding what appears to be a katana, performing a forward slash. Again, a great tie into the previous normal attacks. The number 10 form comes right after it's this form with a ton of spikes in its body. It seems to have a pretty interesting dash forward move that leaves behind some kind of alter images so maybe to confuse enemies and perform some dodges in the meantime the green trailer appears to be the poison effect that the boss inflicted on the character as we can see it using a different yeah, poison effect later on and then it can also be followed up with a ground slam attack at the end but interesting to note is the character appears to dodge the boss hit in that small time window that it takes to revert back to the regular monkey form so I'm not sure if this explains some kind of iframes mechanic, but it does seem you get some immunity when going in and out of shape-shifting forms, so maybe a really skillful way to avoid some incoming damage. Moving on at the 2 minute 50 mark, there's a really cool double dagger, almost demon looking form that does the series of forward slash attacks, really high damage, the boss in this case also appears to have been stunned previously with the rock solid form and the heavy combo hit definitely breaks it immediately. Now I'm not sure if this initial wind up was the character actually charging up a heavy attack or if it's just how the transformation animation works because right after it, it follows with this really devastating combo and it also appears to skip some of the animation frames. Like what if, and this is just speculation, but what if they added a mechanic that lets you charge a heavy attack in your normal monkey form, but then midway through you can swap to a different boss form and still carry over all of that to the new attack in a form of an animation skip. If that is the case, that would be insane, but I doubt it, maybe it's just the way the animation works. Anyway, at number 12, 2 minutes and 54 seconds in, it transforms into this larger form with a giant one-handed sword. It looks like a lion's head from some of the angles, but it's like really hard to see, so maybe it's something else. 13 at 2 minutes, 55 seconds in, player grabs the boss aggro, but then immediately switches into grass. Yeah, you can turn into vegetation, which sounds really awesome. Maybe a good way to reduce or even remove boss aggro, but assuming this only happens before the boss encounter actually starts. And then number 14, almost at the 3 minute mark, we have that wolf form, another transformation suited for traversal, maybe it might even have some sort of attacks, but it looks like one of the many, many fast traveling forms we have in the game. And on top of that, we also have others that we've seen in some of the previous gameplay footage. So in total, we have at least like 17 or so, 16, 17 forms, but maybe there are more in there. Maybe every boss gets to unlock some kind of new form with a few of its attacks baked into it. 
which better explains why we don't get other weapons besides that staff that Sun Wukong has, because you basically have all the other weapons that the boss forms actually have. So in reality, you have so many skills, so many abilities, also the skill tree and all of those effects, which is awesome because you can easily switch between them. But they do cost mana as well as focus, so you do have to be careful about activating these. Now, there's also a couple of other mechanics we've seen in the meantime. So at the 2 minute and 44 second mark, we can see a new type of dodge projection skill. So doing this backwards dodge and kind of having some sort of monk figure appearing out of it. However, I believe that this is a full form in and of itself because initially it appears solid. So that is the form that you can actually transform into, but then that one just becomes translucent. So maybe it's a way or a form that completely dodges all melee attacks that would be really op or maybe it just has a lot of dodges baked into it but it's probably a form rather than a skill then at 253 we can see a ghost form behaving similarly but with the default sun wukong figure so this is maybe the astral dodge skill different than the previous one that we just talked about in any case the game has gone fully gold game science announced this yesterday over on twitter recently of course announced that the development has been fully finalized and right now the entire team is working hard on the final stages of testing and deploying the game so with just a couple more weeks until launch i think that things are going to become a lot more interesting there's also rumors that yeah reviews at least from bigger outlets will drop four days before the game comes out and with like review copies going out already or following in the next few days but as always expect a lot more coverage on the channel especially as we're getting closer and closer to launch so if you want to stay up to date with all the gameplay news and of course tips and tricks on launch day make absolutely sure that you subscribe to the channel activate the notification bell and also leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it if not you're free to do whatever you wish thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video